What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sebring, Florida. Yes, we're south of Orlando, right in the, the central Florida Ridge. We're going to take a drive through Sebring. The city's been growing tremendously fast. Yeah, buddy. Sebring, Florida. A little bit of glare from, uh, from the light. Typical when recording at night. A little bit of glare. Sebring is uh, being more growing pretty fast. Pretty good real estate appreciation. Um, you guys know when we looked at moving out of uh, Naples about a year and a half ago, this was on our radar, but um, it kind of blew out of proportion. Like we were looking at one house for $95,000, actual concrete block house we could have got here in a half, year and a half ago. Wouldn't find that now. A lot of people from Miami are relocating here, so there's a growing population here of people relocating from Miami, so it's a fast growing place. Very fast growing place. We have done a lot of videos here in Sebring. And if I make a video showing the nice side of Sebring, nobody sees it, nobody even comments on the video. It doesn't even exist. It's 500 views. Now, if I go and I do it and I show the bad stuff, it gets 60,000 views, but then people get mad at me. Oh, you're showing the bad stuff. I've done like 20 videos showing the good stuff around here. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you would not believe how many videos I've done showing the nice stuff here in Sebring. It gets no views. If I do a video showing the hoods and the bad stuff, it gets a lot of views. And then people get mad. Why are you showing the bad stuff? I show everything. This is what you people want to see on the internet. That's what gets views. Can you hook up the other phone base so I can get a map? Yeah. I just think it's ironic how, um, you know, people won't click on a nice video about Sebring. If the cover photo is like a big, pretty house, they won't click on that. They'll click on something that looks trashy and hood. And then complain about why well, you're showing the bad side of town. Okay, you know, we have a lot of Sebring haters. I have people from Sebring who, like, not only they get so mad at one of my videos, uh, then they go to, like, other videos and continue, like, spreading their hate throughout our channel. And if you think about it, I've done no bad deed to this place. If anything, I've helped people move here. I've helped advertise this place. I've really brought a lot of, uh, attention to this place I really have but at the same time if people are moving here I can't lie to them I want me to lie to people moving here I gotta tell them what I think is like really good and what's really bad and a lot of times the bad stuff is more important that's what makes our channel unique is that we actually try to help people and when you're trying to help people you, you show them the good and the bad so now we're on the east side of the lake um, if you're moving to Sebring I would mostly recommend you're on the west side of the lake so this side of the lake isn't really the best side. West side is the best side. The east side of the lake is kind of like the historic town center. And it's just a little bit older. Wow, this guy just blew a red light. Oh, unbelievable. Okay. I see people do that in Detroit because they're scared to stop. That's like a really normal thing in Detroit. But in Detroit, people are just scared to stop at a red light. They still got that abandoned building here, though. Yeah. I'm going 40. I don't know what the speed limit is right here. Can't possibly be faster than that, can it? It's about to pull up. 30. 30, yeah. So I'm already going 10 miles over the speed limit. I don't know what else you want from me. I like these old houses here. Yeah. like north-looking type of houses. So this is a historic town center. As you can see, it's pretty much dead. Not much going on over on this side of the lake. This side of the lake is a little slow. A little slow over here. It's a very southern feel. The area is growing, and I think it might be a good place to invest um, because it has it has had a lot of appreciation, but that appreciation hasn't reached every corner of the market. 
there's still a few corners of this area, you know, the markets here that haven't been touched. Um, I think uh, vacant lots, for example, not all of them, some are already up there, but some types of empty lots, lots out here are still kind of, you know, they're still waiting to appreciate a little bit more. So there's potential for, for profit here in Sebring still, I think. So who knows how long this bubble will last. We don't know. Will it just keep going and going or will it? Who knows? The economy takes you for a ride. There is a Starbucks here. Is it really? On the other side? Yes, but they have yeah. one. On the other side of the lake. Which, I guess we could go around the lake at this point. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just go around the lake. They also have Publix. El, you mean El, el Publix? Yeah. Oh, they have El, el Publix. Mm -hmm. El Publix. Mm -hmm. Very quiet. Probably, mm -hmm. The plot might escape. And the Panera. All the way to Sebring Parkway. Take us straight back on 27. That works. Just a quick drive around the lake, I guess. Maybe a little bit darker on this side. There's not as much business over here. It's a pretty quiet stretch right through here. Sebring Parkway. I guess we could go back around. I don't know. Well, it is what it is. We're going to hit a little dark stretch road here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think Sebring is still a good place to invest if you know what you're doing. At the end of the day, I think it's always good to invest where normal people would go. Being that some markets are completely up to, up to speculation, you know, investors and stuff. It's always good to bet on the regular class people. Regular class people, they're looking for affordable retirement. I think Ocala and Sebring have something good going for them. And that is that people still see it as affordable retirement places. And with that, the areas can still keep attracting people. Not rich people making half in their houses, but just regular people and you know, cheap place to retire, or, you know, regular class folks. But I, I, I have been a little shy to recommend this place to working class families. I, I haven't liked. I guess for retirement is different, but when you put your kids in school, when you have kids and stuff, you have different needs. And I, I don't know if this area is fitted for me to recommend for families and stuff like that. Lake Jackson's in the middle. of Sebring. We're kind of on the east side of that now. We're going to take a right, left hand turn and we'll start driving on the north side of it. Uh, the one big loop around Sebring. I know that there's not much to see on this little stretch here, but once we get back on 27, we'll be back on a major highway. You guys can see more. Why are there so many Ford cars here in Sebring? You know, it's about Sebring. Dollar General right there. A lot of older people like to drive Fords. Because they're affordable? Ford. Just it's all Ford. It's all you can afford. Not really. <laughs> Ford. It's it's all you can afford. Uh, Why you want a Ford? It's all I can afford. No, but some people just like them. I don't know if anybody can like a Ford for sure. <laughs> I mean, a pickup truck maybe, but a car. They built a roundabout here, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know an area is growing around about shows up. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, well, we'll be back on 27 soon. We're kind of on the north side of Sebring here. You hit a patch where there's lights in a roundabout, but there was lights. Mm -hmm. I've never really liked how... Um, I just say my opinion, people get mad at <laughs> I want to say what I really feel, but I can't quite get around to it without upsetting some folks who live here. 
Well, it's like, I, I got somebody right now, they're super angry. You can kind of tell that Lake Jackson's in front of us because you can see it's totally dark in front of us and you can see some lights in the distance so you can kind of make out where the lakes are. That's somebody right now in Virginia super angry at me. I guess in the Virginia video, by the way, it's like, remember that, what was it? Victorsburg, what was it? What was it, what the place in Virginia went to? Fredericksburg or something? There's some really cra I don't even remember the name of the town, some place went to in Virginia. And they think it's the best place on earth? Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this place is so much better in Florida. Yeah, I said, like, I said something on the lines of, like, I could never see myself living here. And they, I guess they're from there, and they've lived there their whole life, so they start on, I've lived here my whole life, and, and Virginia's better than Florida, and Virginia, we can go skiing, and we can do this, blah, 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 blah. And, like, oh. I still ain't moving to Virginia. <laughs> and I don't care what the crap you're doing in Virginia, I'm not moving to Virginia. That's fine. You can enjoy your stuff. Enjoy yourself, man. Enjoy yourself. But this person, like, they've made seven comments today. They just keep going back to it. Are they that bored with their life that they have to... Well, they're to... psychopathic. They're like... Yeah. And then it's like, until you travel and see the world, you don't know anything. Yeah. And then there's still parts of the U.S. that I want to go see and see what it's actually like. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, like... If somebody who like who's from a place that's all they know that's all they've seen that's all they've seen then it's like okay well you're not really versed enough to talk about other places yeah. but if you're from a small town you think you know everything about that small town you think it's the greatest place in the world somebody comes from a place that's a little bit bigger and might be like yo what the crap the mcdonald's is broken you know <laughs> your mcdonald's broke you need to fix that like that's the way it's always been like, no, it's it's broken. You need to fix it. <laughs> they build new houses here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on the north side of the lake. Yeah, I'll get you. Yeah. This is where that buffet's at. Uh, like, oh, that we like. Yeah. What's it called? Homer's Original Smorgasbord. Right here. That place is all right, man. I'm not yeah. Gonna all right, guys, so now we're on the north side of Seabring. We're for the north of the lake. Is it uh, open? No, they, they closed. They, lo they broke. Oh, oh, no, it's open. Are they out of business or is this just a... It's, cl it's, it's closed today. I today, but it's not out of business, all right? I don't think so. We weren't. The last time we were here, like, it's like people like that are from here. It's not like I hate your town. I'm here. I'm in it right now. Like, I'm doing stuff here. If I was here, if I'm here <clears throat> now, why would... I was like, I, I don't hate your town. I'm, I'm in it right now. Yeah. I'm here right now. I'm doing stuff in your town right now. I'm eating at restaurants I like. I'm doing things I like. I'm looking at real estate to invest, not to love myself. <laughs> I'm doing stuff here. I don't hate the place. But you're not going to tell me it's better than, like, you know, Miami or... It depends on your perspective, of course. Yeah. You know, you're not going to sit here and tell me, you know, there's a reason why Miami's worth five times more than this. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a reason why real estate in Miami is worth five times more than here. Because five times more people want to be in Miami than do here. There's a reason why in Miami there's nightlife. There's no one. No, you're not going to sit here and try to tell me this is more light, nightlife than Miami. The only nightlife we saw last time we were here was a homeless guy outside of water. And trying to get him to buy him a meal or something, you know? So, whoa, 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 whoa. What? what's going on here? What the crap? What's that about? I think he had the right away because he's turned. Did he? Have, but it, did, I had a green you light. You had the light. Did I have a turn signal light or did I have a solid green light? You had a solid green light. So he had the right away. No, it was like turn signal green with a solid if green. If I had, yeah, if I had a turn signal, then I had the right away. I didn't. I don't know what he had on his side. He had nothing. People he drive like idiots, bro. That's Florida. Yeah. That's Florida. Well, anyways, there's always that one person who thinks that wherever they're from is the greatest place in the world. It's not. Turbo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just there's always that one person that thinks whatever hick town they're from is the greatest place in the world. <laughs> and uh, no, there's other places in the world. The world's big. It's like they just can't stand criticism because I think a lot of people that do that are in denial. Yeah. You know, like. Like 
they secretly want to move, but they're not going to tell you they want to move. You know, it's just in denial. Like, yeah. they don't want to even, like, think about the notion of the world being bigger, you know? Bigger than the boundaries afraid. of their property? Yeah. It's just they don't think beyond, you know. No, there's a huge world out there. Yeah. That's why I'm here exploring your town. Yeah. Because I go out there and see other places. But it always cracks me up how, like, somebody, like, from a really crappy... There's always, like... It's not everybody, but there's always, like, that one person from... Ooh, that's, it's, it's got, like, hot tar. It's more... Mm. Oh, you can see it dripping out the back of the truck. That would ruin your dump truck. Oh, yeah. I think they pay those bills a little bit better because they totally destroy the truck. Seeing a lot of new stuff coming in. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming in. So, you know, it's coming. Real estate prices are through the roof. Highest appreciation in the state. But will it continue? That's the thing. They still have not fixed that? La Shore Mall. La Shore. See, that's the thing. Like, it used to be called Lake Shore. Now it's La Shore. All these Spanish people came in here and changed the name of the pawn shops. <laughs> it's their mall. <laughs> Call them all a pawn shop. I don't want to with somebody. Why is this thing like off the road? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We got Cody's here. They got Cody. Aren't you Cody? <laughs> to your dad. <laughs> Bad for a Sunday night. There's just cars on the road. Not a whole lot, but there's, yeah. a, few. there's a few cars out to the bounds. There's Lake Jackson on the left. Lake Jackson. Lake Jackson. This is the newer part of town. They're getting some types of investments, which a lot of places aren't. Dollar General seems Look to invest here. Look at that Kia dealership. Here. It's like freaking empty. Yeah. There's like nothing there. You know what we should do before we take the truck to the dealership? Mm -hmm. We should call these dealerships and see if somebody will give us more. I've been thinking about training the truck in already, guys. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't like it, I do. But a lot of these trucks are being lemons. Lemonades. Yeah. Lemonade. Transmission's leaking. Yeah. Why is it like going on cars across the country when I call it loud? Mostly like you and your brain will just explode from the noise. Like I'm over here and it's annoying. I never got what somebody would need to do that. You know, like just put an exhaust that's like so loud. I mean, you're in the freaking car. Like, it doesn't that annoy you, first of all? I I've wondered why some of these people are not deaf. I've been in a car like that. Yeah. It's actually worse inside the car than outside. I'm oh, sure. Because inside the car, you're hearing that noise, but you're hearing it like muffled. It's actually like a lower, lower pitch vibration. Like my cousin had this car like that way back in the day. He had an exhaust pipe. Mm -hmm. You can't even like see how we're talking right now. Yeah, you can't. You can't do even that. talk because yeah. there's this low pitch rumble. It's about yep. the same mm -hmm. ratio wavelength as a voice of the person talking so like you can't even carry on a conversation inside that car yeah and we'd be in the car and we'd just look at each other our lips would be moving we'd hear nothing like, you can't even carry on a conversation inside yeah. that car we stay at one of these hotels one time yeah we stay at the one over there uh, your bed bugs weren't too bad I didn't notice any <laughs> the bed bugs were not that bad Oh, yes. They got a Popeyes. I hear they're getting a chick fil so. And there's a Publix right there. And you can go to Publix and Bell's Outlet. So there's a there's people saying there's going to be a Target here soon. Cool. Rumors of a Target. Please tell me that's a Corvette. Why don't you be like the Kia? <laughs> it's a Corvette. Look at the back of it. Yeah. It's a Camaro. It's not even a Corvette. Can you like buy a Camaro for like eight thousand bucks? If you got a lot of miles on it, that is. That is so annoying, bro. Like, there's literally like a key to this to be this. Like, there's literally like a 
Kia SUV next to it, and it's like driving like at the same speed. Yeah. And the Kia is like totally silent. It's not making noise. Like, like, ah, 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 ah. It's going like 100 miles an hour, and he's like just literally like the Kia is like next to him, like not even driving. Yeah. That is so freaking annoying. So we effectively spent 20 minutes driving around the lake at night. <laughs> we have just wasted 20 minutes of our lives. Of course. I mean, what else would you do on a Sunday I mean, night? No, this place is, I guess it's growing in some type of way oh. or another. I don't know. It's never going to be like a night before Fort Myers. So. No, it's more... Like retired people. Yeah. And, and that's really not viable because people who come to retire, they'll live here like four or five years and they'll die, you know? Yeah. I don't know what the life expectancy is for old people anymore, but you know, yeah. they're not going to be here forever. Well, I mean, if they start coming earlier, mm -hmm. do those people, I mean, think about it, anybody looking for early retirement probably doesn't have enough income. Mm -hmm. You're going to have like, like a new parade where you got all these older people yeah. who are still having to work into their 80s or something to pay their mortgage or anything. Yep. I don't know. That's a very good question. Who the crap knows? Who the crap knows? Who the crap knows? Okay, we just do these drive around videos to show what the place looks like. Our opinion is like totally irrelevant. Yeah. Like what we think about your town is like if I think I like it, like sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. Like what I think about your town, that's totally irrelevant. That's not like you know, that, that's not like I don't know. I'm not like Wikipedia, bro. Like I'm just a freaking YouTuber, like giving my opinion. Your town sucks. Your town looks like it really sucks. Well, your town's okay. Thanks for using your turn signal. People here drive like morons in this town, I'll tell you that much. And you have the elderly, but I think you, more than elderly, you have a lot of dumb people that are younger too that learn how to drive. And I don't think elderly people are going to drive around at 8.30 at night on Sunday. It's nice that they're paving this little stretch. You can still hear him, he's like a mile ahead of here. <laughs> I could not deal with that. So they start paving this little stretch. Isn't that cowpoke restaurant we like around here? Yes, right there. Oh, there it is, man. That restaurant is awesome. Mm -hmm. That restaurant is one of the best restaurants in Florida right there. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. It's called the cowpoke. Cowpoke watering hole. Cowpoke watering hole. Really worth checking out. The yeah. cowpoke. It's a little expensive. It's like a steakhouse, right? Yeah. It's kind of like a steakhouse in a place. Yeah. So yeah, they're pretty nice. I mean, it's not like you're gonna go there every day. It's expensive. Yeah. You'd have to be like a ball and YouTuber to pay me pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even we were like, we're just gonna eat at the Gator Shack. Yeah. Here's a Glades Pawn Shop. Are we in Glades County already? We might be. Oh, there it is, guys. Sibring, Florida. I got to say that. It changed a lot since the first time we came. It's really changed a lot in the yeah, last few years. Yeah, I'll tell you that much. That's where we, we started the video somewhere around here, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, when we first came here, it was nothing but elderly people. The first time we came here, it was all elderly people. Then we came back, and it was like, Hialeah had moved in, and then, then West Hialeah moved in, and then, like, Guy, Hialeah Gardens moved in at this point. <laughs> It's, it's a little bit more different now than back then. A lot of people have moved yeah. here from Miami if looking for affordability. And it's definitely changed the place. The young, younger people are here. You want to know what this place, this area needs? A Target. No. Oh. Ray's Pizza. Yes. <laughs> Along those Los lines. Presidente and Aceranos. Yeah. Well, look at Kissimmee. Kissimmee's a big city. It's part of Orlando, baby. 
No, it got uh, El Presidente, Sedano. Slippery with what? I even saw Navarro's. Yeah. All right, guys, there it is. Seventy.